I'm going to explain about AND gate designing using Verilog code. AND gate, the symbol we know that uh, this is the AND gate symbol, and AND gate is having two inputs that is A and B. And uh, Y is, we can assume anything. So Y is equal to, I'm assuming Y is the output, Y is equal to A dot B is the output. So if you are given 0, 0, so A equal 0 and B equal 0. So then what is an output A dot B is the output. So 0 multiplied 0 equal to 0. And similarly 0, 1 if you are given 0 multiplied 1 equal to 0. If you are given 1, 0, 1 multiplied 0 equal to 0. And 1 into 1 equal to 1. So this is an AND gate uh, truth table coming to the very low code. We need to mention inputs A and B and output is y and our required logic is a and b so this is a very low code and coming to the test bench one bit binary is zero b called one bit binary is zero while giving zero zero what is an output while giving zero one what is an output while giving one zero what is an output while giving one one what is an output like this we need to write the very low code on test bench then we need to go for execution using Xilinx. So uh, I'm opening ISC Design Suite 14.7 Xilinx. Yes. Now uh, go to left side corner. File. File. And here we need to. Give the program name, any name you can give it. So here file, go to file, new project. I'm giving and or I'm giving finish. Then go to left side, again click new source, right click new source then select very log module and uh, here we need to add the input file dot v file and uh, dot p here also you can give any name so the same name i am giving and or uh, and or uh, dot p so then click on next here we need to mention the input outputs so, uh, this is not mandatory we can write it there also a b and y so Without giving input outputs, you can directly write in the code also, so no problem. So, or else you can give the input on the outputs. So, then click on next, finish. You will get like this, you will get the our code. So, then write the code here assign A and B. Here it is there already assign A and B. And, uh, S N A and B. So now save it. Control S is successfully completed. Now we can say this implementation part left side we are doing. Then later we need to do simulation part. For implementation part, uh, click on synthesize x60. So in that check syntax. It will take 20 to 30 seconds time to check the syntax. So then, after this, uh, we need to go for a schematic. Yes, six, six syntax completed. Then go for view RTL schematic. Click on RTL schematic. So we'll get the required uh, and get schematic diagram. It will take 20 to 30 seconds time. And uh, here there are two options are there. Any option with any option you can go. No issue. So then click on OK. Then add here and create schematic. Right side corner. Create schematic. This is our required and get. So if you want to see the internal diagram, just uh, click on double click. You will get our required uh, get. Then this is an implementation part that is in a RTL schematic view. Then go for simulation. So for that, go for left side again corner, right click, new source, 
and select Verilog test feature. So here we need to give the name uh, and our underscore test bench underscore for our current name I am giving test bench again we need to add dot v file then click on next next finish so this is our uh, test bench program here we need to give the inputs what are the inputs so and then we need to go for so here I am giving the input already we have the inputs in the code already we are explained so or else you can take it from here so here instead of this we need to give the yes Yes, here if you want to mention the differentiation, you can write like this. So 10 is the 10 nanoseconds is the space between two bits. So then again, yes. Now save it. Save it. Control S and go for this. Uh, we are going to execute test bench program. Click on that. Then. Uh, Click on ISM uh, simulator, then check behavior and check syntax. Yes, completely successful. Then go for simulation, simulate behavior model. Yes, this is our required output. Then click it here, zoom to full view. You can see this uh, top corner, top side, and zoom to full view. And just uh, so this is when you are giving 1, 1, this is the output. When you are giving 0, 0, this is the output 0. When you are giving 1, 1, output is high. So, like this, uh, we can write the code and execute the our required logic. If you have any suggestions, please send to me. Thank you.